All right, what's going on YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Robert. Now, if it's your first time here, do me a huge favor by dropping a like on the video and subscribing to the channel. And for all my returning subscribers, thank you for tuning in for yet another video. We're almost at 2000 subscribers and I'm, you know, so thankful. I'm glad you guys are still rocking with the channel. We're gonna keep pushing on and I really do appreciate everyone coming through in the video, liking, commenting, subscribing, sharing with your friends, all that good stuff. I appreciate it. Now, Today, I wanted to throw together a quick video just to talk about the upcoming release of the Yeezy 350 V2 MX Oat that is dropping this Saturday, October 23rd for the US retail price of $220. Okay, so like I said, this shoe is dropping this Saturday, October 23rd. Am I going for it? You better believe it. It's the first of its kind as far as like the whole MX or mixed colorway that they're putting on a 350. We've seen this, um, kind of color design or blocking on the Yeezy Foam Runner. I don't have any of those. Um, I haven't been able to hit on any Foam Runners for retail at all since they dropped. But I'm interested to see how this colorway looks in hand on the 350 V2. So let's start with where you can actually enter raffles and you know try and pick up these shoes. So the first, which is my favorite place to go, is the Adidas Confirmed app. Um, I got an email notification that, you know, they were available to enter the raffle on the confirmed app on yesterday. So um, I went ahead, entered that raffle. I believe it ends at 10.30 a.m. Eastern time on Saturday, October 23rd. So you still have time to enter that raffle. Um, for me, the Adidas confirmed app is the best place to go as far as like entering raffles and trying to get a pair. I've had the best luck on that app, better than any of the others that I'm gonna mention here, you know, in a few. It's just, I feel like it's the most fair and it's the most reliable place to enter. Um, but yeah, that's it, it's confirmed app. So good luck entering there. Also, as you may have guessed it, they will be dropping on Yeezy Supplies website um, Saturday morning. I think it's, I'm um, not quite sure I have to check, but I think it's 9 a.m. Eastern time. But if you go to Yeezy Supplies website, they usually have like a little countdown so you can get information on exactly when they're gonna drop. But just didn't want you guys to forget to check there. Um, as for Yeezy Supply, it's been kind of rough over the last year or so because I've taken L after L and well, most of the time I'm not even able to get into a waiting line or a queue because I keep getting blocked. But the last couple of releases, I haven't been blocked. So maybe they've changed something with their website or whatnot. Um, I've been having a little more luck getting through. I think I actually was able to pick up the green glow slides, I think from Yeezy Supply when they dropped. So I was happy about that. Um, but yeah, that's Easy Supply this Saturday. Don't forget about it. Okay, another place that you can get a, that I almost forgot about was Hibbit Sports. For some reason, I haven't been thinking about Yeezys on Hibbit Sports for a while, and I got an app notification or email or something yesterday that it was open, so I went ahead and entered the raffle for that. Um, so go ahead and make sure you download the Hibbit Sports app and check there and enter your raffle if you, they're available in your area. Um, yeah. Hibbit Sports, I almost forgot about that, about that app or whatever. Um, another place that they're actually getting them is uh, Dick's Sporting Goods. So their um, release is a little different. I think I saw there were a few states um, that had stores that were actually doing a first come, first serve basis. It may be too late for that, I'm not sure, but I think they're also releasing them online as well. So just check out Dick's Sporting Goods and see about you know obtaining a pair that way. I'm personally not gonna do it. I don't think they have them in my area as far as like a first come first serve thing, so I'm not even gonna worry about it. I may try online, it just depends. Sometimes for these releases, y'all, I'm tired in the morning and I'm not getting up early anymore. I'll enter my confirmed raffle and I'll try yeast supply whenever I get up and that's it. But as far as like, I know sometimes I think Dick Sporting Good have released shoes at like 7 a.m. I don't wanna do that anymore. It, it, I mean, I may do it every now and then, but most of the time I don't wanna be up that early trying to get a shoe. Anyway, that was Hibbit Sports and Dick Sporting Goods. Now. Um, the other one, one of my favorites, sneakers and stuff. I've had relatively good luck with their website and their raffle system, or their app in the raffle system in the past, so I always enter there. So the shoe is available on the sneakers and stuff app, so go ahead and enter your raffle there. Um, I haven't hit on the last few pairs on the sneakers and stuff raffle, but you know, it's probably been a while, but I've hit on that you know app in the past, so I try and mention different apps or stores and things like that, websites that I have dealt with in the past that I know are legit and I've actually had success, you know, obtaining a shoe via the raffle or just buying things from their site. 
Um, another one that I, I like is uh, BSTN. They have a raffle up for the MX Oats as well. Um, these are some overseas sites. So BSTN, a few, and my favorite, In Clothing. Um, In Clothing has an app where you can download and you can enter the raffle as well. Um, I've hit, I think I hit on the Jordan One Pollens on the In Clothing raffle. Totally forgot I entered that raffle and ended up hitting. So it is, you know, legit if you've never shopped there or whatnot. So In Clothing. Um, I think another site is Foot Patrol. It's another overseas site. They actually um, have a raffle for them uh, for the MX Oats as well. So that's just a few places to, you know, go and check out and see if you can hit for the raffle. So I'll repeat just to recap. Adidas Confirmed app, Yeezy Supply, um, Hibbit Sports, Dick Sporting Goods. We got BSTN, A Few, Sneakers and Stuff, and In Clothing. And also Foot Patrol is another one. So you got a lot of different places to enter. Um, so good luck trying to pick these shoes up, guys. And uh, let me know, comment down below. I wanna know how many of you are actually gonna try and pick these up this Saturday and how you feel about this shoe overall from what you've seen from different videos or images online. Now, before we end this video, I just wanna give my thoughts on the shoe in general. Like I said, I'm gonna go for these and I'm kinda excited to see what they look like in hand. Um, the colorway is it's pretty nice. I think I like it a little bit better than the MX Rock pair that I've seen as well. It's another it's um, another MX colorway that's dropping, I think, later this year, which is it's like a black colorway that has like dark brown and black swirls on it. So I feel like the MX Oat, the colors stand out a lot better on that um, yellowish color looking shoe. But overall, like I said, you've got this kind of almost like beige looking yellowish uh, upper on the shoe, prominent upper, and then you've got that swirl of red and blue all over the shoe in the prominent, which looks looks pretty nice. It's kind of a wild design, I gotta admit, but overall, I'm kind of you know liking the way it looks online at least. I may change once you know I get the shoe in hand, but um, also it looks like you've got that kind of yellowish translucent looking midsole and outsole as well, which is pretty nice. So overall, you know. Same makeup for all the other 350 V2s you've seen in the past. It's just this new MX color blocking where they mix the colors on the up of the shoe. That's the main difference here. Um, but yeah, excited to try and you know get these in hand, see what they look like. Um, Yeezy has released a couple different things this year as far as the 350 V2. You know, we got the 350 V2 lights, which were like UV. They changed colors in the sunlight which was cool. And now we got this MX Oat, which is a different type of design. And I'm glad they're doing that because I got to admit, like, I still like Yeezys. I don't think, you know, they're going anywhere anytime soon. I really like the shoe. They're comfortable. I think they look nice on feet. But after you get so many pairs, it does start to feel like, hmm, do I need this one? Do I need that one? You got to kind of have to start picking because they're dropping so many. And that's fine because I like when, like, they're readily available. But after you obtain so many, it's kind of like, do I need this pair, you know? And with the new, like the UV one, like I mentioned, and the MXO, it kind of makes you feel like you're getting a new, um, a new shoe. It's the same model, but it's just something different. I can't wait to see if they release the 350 V3, to be honest. I would really like to see that, to see where they take it as far as the 350 model. Because right now, they're using that same upper because it's been so successful, and they're just changing it here and there. But I got to be honest with you. I still think that the 350 V2, as far as which one's the best, the first one with the stripes on it, like the zebra model, or like, you know, the semi-frozen yellow, the one that has the stripes on the prime net, that's the best one, hands down. Like, I still have a lot of those and I'm not getting rid of them because I just think that's the best looking iteration of the 350 V2, just my opinion. Um, but yeah, good luck trying to pick these shoes up on Saturday, October 23rd. Um, I thank all of you for watching. Please do me a favor by dropping a like on the video and subscribing to the channel. And I'll see you next time.